All right, so before we actually talk about how you fight the like the actual Reaper Leviathan, before that, we're going to want to do some preparation. As far as vehicles go, your main options are going to be either the Seamoth or the Prawn Suit. Yeah, if you're taking the Seamoth, you want to make sure it has your perimeter defense on it, and you're also going to make sure it has the torpedo system installed on it. Now, you would think that, because the other upgrade that you would think you want is going to be the hull reinforcement for your Seamoth. Now, you think that you're going to want that, because you know you're going to be going against the reaper and whatnot but it turns out the whole reinforcement actually doesn't reduce damage when it comes to like creatures attacking you it only reduces damage when you're bumping into stuff and don't use whole reinforcement and think that it's going to reduce the damage that the reaper's going to do to you because it's not it's not going to do anything aside from reduce the damage it take you'll take maybe like if the reaper grabs you and it bumps you into the ground it'll reduce that damage as far as the reaper actually biting your vehicle and whatnot it's not gonna reduce that damage so it's a waste of a slot and i wouldn't take it honestly you could take two perimeter defenses because i believe you can spam them back to back yeah so instead of that you can you can bring two perimeter defenses so you can spam them back to back if you want or you can bring two torpedo systems so you have you know double offense or double defense either or works just fine and then your depth module obviously so you don't hit the max crush depth so if you're going to bring your Seamoth, that's what you want to put on it. So when it comes to your prawn suit, you're going to want to, for in, as far as the arms go, you're going to put the drill arm on your prawn suit, and you're also going to put the grapple arm. The grapple arm is going to allow you to get close enough to the Reaper, because you're going to have to grapple onto its body in order to, you know, attack it in your prawn suit. And then with the drill arm, that's what you're going to use to attack the Reaper. Grapple onto the Reaper with a grapple arm, and then use the drill arm while you're holding onto the Reaper to drill and attack the reaper dealing some pretty good damage as far as upgrades go you're going to want your jet jump upgrades so you can jump up higher uh, and that's really about it as in terms of the prawn suit because you can't really there's not really much else aside from like engine efficiency that you can put on this thing the thermal reactor isn't going to be as uh, it's not going to be of much use here because we're not fighting the sea dragon or anything so jump jet upgrade your depth module grapple arm and your drill arm so that's what you're going to want on your prawn suit if you're going to bring your prawn suit to fight the reaper now as far as equipment goes like on your actual person what you're going to bring you're going to 100 percent 1000 percent you're going to bring your stasis rifle because that's going to allow you to freeze the reaper and actually give yourself the time to let's say if you bring your seamoth hit it with the gas torpedo then you freeze the reaper in place it's going to be stuck and you can shoot the gas torpedoes at it you're also going to want to bring a knife either a thermal blade or a regular knife works but the thermal blade is a little bit better because i believe it does just a tad bit more damage than the regular knife your sea glide just in case you get caught outside of your vehicle and you need to move around a little fast so the sea glide the other thing that you're going to 100 percent want to bring is your repair tool so you can repair your vehicle in the event it gets damaged or something of that nature the other item that you're going to want to bring is going to be the reinforced dive suit so the reinforced dive suit I don't have it on right now because, you know, radiation. But the reinforced dive suit will reduce the amount of damage that the Reaper will deal to you if you are outside of your vehicle. So you won't, like, lose all your health in, like, one bite or one attack from the Reaper. Because, you know, the reinforced dive suit will ne negate some of that damage. The other items that you're going to want to bring are first aid kits. So if the Reaper, just like I was talking about before, if the Reaper does happen to hit you while you're outside of your vehicle, you're going to need a way to heal because you can't just, like, heal on the spot over time. If the Reaper does hit you, you're going to want first aid kits. You're going to want a bunch of first aid kits so you can heal yourself now the other item that you may or may not want to bring i don't 100 recommend it but i still want to mention it just in case you know one of you or somebody out there wants to use this as a viable strategy is you can also bring the propulsion cannon with you and with the propulsion cannon you're you'd have to load it up with something any other item in the game that you want to shoot out the propulsion cannon that deals some good damage so here i got my propulsion cannon so we can press f whatever the command is going to be for you whatever button it is so you can press f to load an item from your inventory and then you can load the floater in and yeah with the floater you can take the floater and you can shoot it at any creature to deal some okay damage but yeah if you want to bring your propulsion cannon to shoot at the reaper and deal some damage that way as well you can do that otherwise i think that is our last item and we are ready to go and fight the reaper i'm going to demonstrate what you're going to do when you're in your seamoth what you're going to do if you're in your prawn suit and then what you're going to do if you're outside of the vehicle so since we're in the seamoth we're going to start with this first so we have our perimeter defense already right here so if the reaper does happen to come after you like it's about to do right now and it grabs you 
You're just gonna use permanent defense to get it up off you before it can deal any sort of damage to you. And then once it's well, while it's running away, you can sort of like get your little attack plan ready. So so once you are in a safe enough spot, so since the Seamoth can't fully attack and you also can't shoot your stasis rifle while you're in the Seamoth, where the freak did the Reaper go? So since he's right there, what I'm gonna do is get out of my Seamoth and then I'm gonna hit him with the stasis rifle. My gosh, you almost got me. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. So we're gonna hit him with the stasis rifle, as we can see, and then we're gonna get away and then we're gonna hit him with the gas torpedoes. Now he's gonna sit there, he's gonna take damage. He's just gonna keep taking damage, keep taking damage. We can hit him again. And because we see the stasis rifle field is getting smaller, we can hit him again. So that's about the extent of what you're gonna do when you're in your Seamoth. If it gets close to you, hit it with permanent defense. And when it does, when you do get the chance, hop out of your Seamoth, hit it with the stasis rifle, and then hit it with your gas torpedoes that you're just gonna keep loading into your Seamoth over and over and over again until you eventually get rid of the Reaper. All right, now for the braver individuals, if you wanna fight the Reaper in your prawn suit, this is what you're gonna do. The prawn suit, you're gonna see that the Reaper, all right, here he comes, he's gonna go towards me. Now, the Reaper can unfortunately grab the prawn suit, so you're gonna have to be a little bit careful. And you're just gonna grapple onto him like I'm doing right here. And now he's gonna grab me, unfortunately. But you can hit him with the drill arm while he's grappling. Oh my gosh, he is thrashing me around. And you can stay hooked onto him. All right, they're just taking turns. All right, that's cool, I guess. Uh, so yeah, with your prawns, you're gonna grapple onto the Reaper if it is too far. And if it does sort of grab you, they do do a little bit less damage than they would to the Seamoth, which is a good thing because you're in, you're in the prawn suit. Whoa, can you back off? So when it does grab you, you can just hit it with your drill arm. But as you would imagine, because you aren't gonna be able to, you don't have like permanent defense or anything like that. So there's only so much you're gonna be able to take. So once you take enough damage, around like 23, like I'm at right now, or even 30, you're gonna get out. Use your repair tool real quick. You're gonna repair your prawn suit. Keep an eye out for the Reaper. And if the Reaper, do, if you do see the Reaper coming after you from a distance, you're gonna hit it with your stasis rifle to freeze it and give yourself time to fully repair your prawn suit. All right, here he comes, here he comes. So what we're gonna do, shoot our prawn suit. There we go. And now he's frozen. If you don't know where the Reaper is and you still need to repair your prawn suit really badly, just shoot it around your prawn suit and then start repairing because it'll give you essentially a little safe bubble to sit in because the Reapers can't touch you while you're in your prawn suit bubble like this. And you can just keep doing that as many times as you need until your prawn suit is fully, fully repaired. And once it's fully repaired, you can just hop in. But that's about it. That's about what you're going to do when you fight the Reaper and you're using your prawn suit. Your drill arm is going to be the main way you fight it and deal damage. So if you're going to be super brave and you're going to fight it without a vehicle, the main way you're going to be dealing damage to it is either by your propulsion cannon, if you bought that, or you're going to be using your knife primarily to attack it. Your knife and your stasis rifle, a nice and knife and stasis rifle combo. So let's get the Reaper to come over here. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to freeze the Reaper when it comes after you, like I'm going to do right now. Now that he's frozen, I'm going to get away from his mouth and get the no one to bite me. And we're just going to hit him over and over and over and over again. And you're basically going to keep doing this until you, you know, get rid of the reaper a little less exciting way of fighting the reaper but it's still a way an effective way of fighting him nonetheless because he can hurt you and you can hurt him this is the way you're going to do it if you are in if you are not in a vehicle and you just want to fight him on your own the reaper is coming towards you like this you don't want to charge it up you want you don't want to charge up your stasis rifle like on the first shot because if you charge it up and you miss then it's gonna be really awkward because then the reaper is gonna have time to get you so what you're gonna do is do this and you're just gonna shoot like some tiny shots because the reaper can be a little glitchy so your shots might go through his body for whatever reason but you're just gonna shoot these tiny shots shoot him towards his face and once he's frozen then you can charge up your big shot like this and freeze him for a super long time. That is all I had for y'all. This Reaper's trying to kill me. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.